Capricorn. I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of February the 6th to the 13th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos with your family members and friends that I put out there every week on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go to my website and that is www.berendatarot.info. See you soon, my friend. We start our week, Capricorn, on Monday with the a major card, and it is the Magician. And this is telling me that right now, if there's any plans that you have uh, that you want to work on, or any projects, or any projects right now, know that your timing is right to begin any of these things. <clears throat> and stop worrying, because you can pretty much manifest your dreams right now. Believe in yourself and stop procrastinating, because you are going to be getting some unexpected resources to help you reach these and manifest these goals that you want. Seven of Fire for Tuesday. So this is our self-development card. This is about risk-taking and adventure and setting our creative juices into motion. This is showing me that you're going to be coming up against an issue where you're going to have to get up on your platform and defend your own beliefs and your own decisions. Uh, stand your ground, my friend, and when you do this, so I want you to choose your battles wisely. Middle of the week, crowning your week, Wednesday, major card. You've been given the strength. And this is all about inner strength. This is all about you needing to know that you're stronger than you actually realize you are. And you can handle the situation that's coming down your path right now. But they want you to handle it in a gentler manner with kindness and compassion and gentleness and patience and forgiveness and think. Honey is better than vinegar. On Thursday, Capricorn, a fire card, Queen of Fire, another one of these self-development cards. So, stretch your wings, my friend, and know that you can fly right now. Don't underestimate yourself. Continue being positive. Continue being optimistic. And you're going to be able now to assert your own independence and your own creativity. Six of Fire, back to back for Friday. This is telling me it's a victory. So things are working out the way you had wished. And you're going to be receiving some good news uh, coming on your path. And it's on its way now. And I see that people are going to be talking about you. It's like public recognition. I see some of you are actually going to be receiving an award for what it is that you do. And others are just going to be talking about you and saying, my, what a difference in your demeanor and, and your personality and you're happy again and you're so much more like your old self. On Saturday, you've been given a major card, the Empress. And the Empress is all about your hard work now that's going to bring you great rewards. It's like you have the Midas touch. No matter what you do, you're going to land on your feet. This is a wonderful card for you. Um, it's about, they refer to it as lavish abundance, and giving birth to your own dreams and nurturing yourself and others. Because the Empress to me is the major mother here, figure, and she's here to take care. This is uh, about... Um, when I refer to the Midas Touch, it means that <clears throat> in all parts of your life, marriage, children, family, relationships, they show me that they're all flourishing right now for some of you. And you can enjoy your life around you and know that uh, you deserve all the good that's coming your way here and now. Time, it's a time of excellence and it's a time of emotional and physical good health. So far I see Capricorn, you're having an excellent week. Four of Water, maybe not for the Romance card for some of you. This is telling me some of you are in a relationship and things are not working out the way you wish they had. And um, uh, it may be a situation that's not romantic. It may, be, it may have to do with someone in your family, a member in your family. And you can't seem to find anything positive right now. You need to open your, your mind up right now to any new possibilities. If you're in a love relationship, okay, and you're discontented and you're bored, please open your eyes to the opportunities coming down your path, okay? At the end of the reading, I did incorporate this one oracle card, and they gave you this. Find the blessings in your current situation. So, you know what? 
sometimes, I mean, life isn't perfect. And often we don't get what we do want. And I mean, pretty much, you know, this is what it talks about, that romance card at the end of the week. But find the blessings right now in your current situation. And sometimes the unanswered prayers, there's a reason why we don't get what we want because we weren't meant to and it might not have been the best for our greater good. So please count the blessings right now in your life and pick that positive lesson that you have out of that negative situation. Capricorn, I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, my friend. Again, I leave you with another quote. One of the hardest lessons in life is letting go. Whether it's guilt, anger, love, loss, or betrayal, change is never easy. We fight to hold on and we fight to let go. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, Capricorn.